Hi friends, thank you so much for joining me on this journey. Thank you for riding with me on this journey. I really do appreciate your kind messages and your kind words. The good news is that my hair is growing back speedily. Thank God for that. So on today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the trimming process because due to the fact that the hair was tangled, a while ago a trim is needed because a lot of people handled my hair and in my previous videos i remember telling you guys that i was going to get a trim next and that's where we are so if you're just joining us please watch the previous videos before you come to this i'm going to link it in the description box below so that you can go and watch it and understand where i'm coming from before you continue watching this so last time i was in the salon they put my hair in this protective style this braids so that um it's not going to knot or maybe tangle um i think braids helps with strengthening straightening hair all right so that's basically why they put the hair in braids so that when i'm ready to trim it the hair will not be shrunken so much or it will not tangle so much so i could be able to comb out my hair and be able to trim it i don't know if i'm rambling in this video but please forgive me um if you've ever had any damage with your hair the next process is to trim your hair and also clarify your hair i already cl clarified my hair i didn't show you but um i did clarify my hair to make sure my scalp is free of build-ups and dirt and also to return my hair to factory settings that was why i had to clarify and then the next process is to trim off the weak ends so that it will not keep on splitting and going to the roots and what have you so what i'm doing here right now is to unravel the braids and then comb it out trim it off and then put it back in twist just to keep that away from um entering the other one that i may be working with basically working in sessions all right so that's how i kept on going until i finished trimming for the trimming i needed my hair shears you don't need scissors for trimming hair shears is ideal for trimming trimming your natural hair is key to retaining length and maintaining healthy curls or curls it's one of those things people are scared to do during their natural hair journey even though there are many benefits of trimming your natural hair neglecting trims could result in less hair growth simple reason being that if you don't nurture or maintain your ends then you will have a problem with damage if your damaged ends aren't snipped they will end up traveling up to your hair shaft eventually leading to you to cut significant amounts of your hair i will be breaking down everything that you need to know the benefits of trimming your hair how to incorporate trimming into your natural hair regimen plus some techniques to help continue watching to learn more why trimming your natural hair is very important snipping the ends of your natural hair can be daunting experience for some naturalistas we seem to be obsessed with holding on to scraggly ends because we want to hold on to our length we feel that a trim will affect our hair growth progress but holding on to unhealthy ends could actually bite you in the butt in the long run unfortunately split ends and single strand knots affect our hair overall health and ability to hold on to our new growth so it's best to embrace the benefits of trimming your natural hair so it doesn't become a hindrance here is a rundown of how split ends can hinder you from retaining length. Split ends are caused by the natural wear and tear of your hair and although it's easy to maintain your hair's health through 
a consistent regimen, it's impossible to completely eliminate split ends without a trim. If you don't get rid of them, they will continue to split all the way up to the hair shaft, leading to more damage and loss of the entire hair strand. Split ends and single strand knots can snag and tangle easily. Once tangled, detangling your natural hair will become much harder and you will end up tugging, pulling on your hair, which leads to breakage. Split ends lead to scraggly and frizzy ends, which makes your hair lack volume and become unhealthy. How trimming your natural hair regularly benefits hair growth. Trimming your natural hair regularly can contribute to you maintaining healthy hair, which is crucial for growing long hair, but it doesn't actually make your hair grow faster. Hair growth begins with your scalp and various factors can contribute to how fast it grows, such as genetics, eating habits, supplements, etc. Whereas the ends of your hair are the oldest part of your hair and tend to have the most damage. Split ends, single strand knots, fairy knots, etc. One of the benefits of trimming your natural hair is to get rid of those damaged ends and stop it from getting worse or leading to any unnecessary breakage. Trimming and hair growth work hand in hand. To achieve growth, you will need to focus on your scalp and hair follicles. But to retain length, you will need to have a hair routine or regimen that incorporates regular trims. Sometimes we are scared to snip those ends because we might feel we are getting rid of our hair growth progress. This is where you need to change your mindset about trimming and align it with positive thinking. Think about it as a process of getting rid of damaged ends and keeping your hair healthy. How often should you trim your hair? I for one, I trim my hair every three months. The key is to incorporate trimming into your natural hair care routine. If you are new to trimming, I recommend every three months until you get used to it. If you are experiencing breakage and split ends, then you might opt for every eight weeks until your hair is nurtured back to health. Some people may stretch their trims to every four to six months, but only do this if your hair is healthy and you are not experiencing excessive shedding or breakage. Whatever you decide, remember not to skip your trim, although trimming your hair doesn't actually result in hair growth. Just a quick one, how to know if your type 4A, 4B or 4C needs a trim as soon as possible. Your ends are becoming extremely dry and rough. If your detangling becomes difficult and your hair snags easily, if you lose volume, and ship. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know if you want part two of this video and I'll go ahead and bring it on. Tell me in the comment section, ask your questions in the comment section if you have any for me. That brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next one shortly. Please don't forget to comment on my hair growth.